This is currently the most underrated perk in Dead by Daylight. It's called Deja Vu, and it counters the strongest killer strategy in the entire game, 3 genning, which is where the killer uses gen regression perks to hold 3 generators towards the end of the match to basically make it impossible for you to pop the gens. With Deja Vu, you can scout out the killer's 3 gen at the beginning of the match and get rid of it before he has a chance to protect it. It shows you the 3 closest generators and gives you 6% repair speed on them. I'm combining this perk with a brand new part to get rid of the 3 gen as fast as possible at the beginning, leaving the killer with unprotectable generators at the end of the game. I hope to see more people using this perk in the future, and let's get straight into the game. All right, let's go. We are in on the Father Campbell's Chapel. We can actually see his closest 3 gen is main building with these two gens over here. These guys are already getting on his 3 gen over here as well, which is good. Oh my god, it's a bubba. Are you kidding me? This is meant to be. Oh yeah, she came all the way around that way, okay. Oh, I've run into a wall. It's fine. I have a rock. I have a rock. And another rock. And another rock. And another rock. Dude, stop. Oh my god. The rocks are saving my life right now. Dwayne is uh, doing a quite good job. Okay, I think we just power my brand new part on this 3 gen. They have proved themselves as well. Get rid of this instantly. And now it'll show us his next best 3 gen. His next best 3 gen also has the main building gen in it. So I reckon we just get rid of the main building gen. And then I don't think he has a very good 3 gen after that. So we'll just try and power through this one. And what's awesome too is the 6% speed boost when you do the gen. We get them done way faster as well. I genuinely just think this is like one of the most underrated perks that no one is using in pubs right now. Like it's actually crazy. Maybe I can get the save. Looks like she died on a pallet. Oh, okay. Booba is here. Let's do the trick to him if we can. Nice, it worked. Beautiful. Booba? What is going on down there, good sir? Oh no. Not again. Nah, 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 nah. Wait, FOV tech? Come back in. And hit that window. Nice. I don't know where he is. Is he coming here? Oh no, he's right there. Okay. Wait, he missed the M1 as well. What is going on? Oh my god. This is his new 3 gen. This feels like almost a better 3 gen than the previous ones. Because the door of main is right there. The other ones didn't have a good access to door of main. And I feel like Deja Vu doesn't take that into account. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. We have to give him the pallet. Wait. Make him bait another swing. No, okay. We go to the pallet now. Now we go back to the window. Because we're greedy. Greedy, greedy man. I love this setup with the uh, the shack here. Okay, that's good. Now we make a whole loop of the shack. He's gonna vault, right? Oh. Yep, nice. No bam. Okay. He's going back to his slew gen. Let's pressure this one with our 15% extra speed now because of resilience and deja vu. Making this gen, by the way, almost... No, it is faster than old gens that took 80 seconds. Just because I have two perks on right now for doing the gen. One of them isn't even meant for the gen. Okay, he's coming back to see his gens already at almost 50%. That must be very scary. My problem with this pallet is it's not in the best area. Maybe if I can bait him this way. Nah, he knows. See, even this bubba knows, like, what to do here. He knows not to get zoned. I can do anti-zoning though, which is like this. Where right, I make him follow me this way. Fake running away. Oh, thank you. Oh no. That's not good. That is not what we wanted to happen. Nice, we get the window. Beautiful. Oh, I see you with the my games, Booba. Vault? No vault. He's gonna go back, yeah. Let's go around the hill. Maybe we can get the save here. Get it while we can. Get it while it's fresh, get it while it's fresh. 
Yeah, I can't do much about that one. We do have flashbangs as well, so we should use them as soon as we get the chance to. We'll just give him that. He is a bubba. It is pretty scary. Okay, here we go. This might be a flashbang. Nope. I can't even throw that and get the CJ. Okay. Nice. For him, actually. Because now I gotta stay close to the save. Okay, now I have to throw the pallet down. Yeah, yeah, call this side. Nice. Do that. Get the save. I can even take a hit here. Beautiful. Made for this is so strong, man. Oh my god. That secondary ability is so ridiculous. Okay. Leaving me? He's gonna go to the door. Yeah. We gotta go main building. Now? Swing? No, I didn't swing. But we're out now, no? I don't think he realized. When I go in there, I can just run out. Wait, where's he going? I was gonna give him a... Okay, well, you know what? We'll do it ourselves. Happy New Year. <laughs> All right, let's go. We, we got the same map again, and he has an insane three gen at the carnival. Let's start pumping through this gen as soon as we get the chance. Good thing I didn't tap it there. Because he's definitely going to be on us. Okay. That's fine. He doubled back. I'm going to throw it. Nice. I don't want to risk it with a Blight. Because you guys know how strong Blight is. We need to get... Ah, we'll just go to this pallet. We just have to use the pallets. Like, we can't risk it with a Blight. Fake going this way. Come back. Go back this way. Nice. Now we zoned ourselves to the jungle gym. He kind of lost us, which is really good. And just... Oh... If she didn't miss the skill check, that would have been the three gen done. That is truly unfortunate. Okay. But honestly, I can't say anything because I miss skill checks in like every single game and I don't know how to do gens. So yeah, it is what it is. Let's see how much is it on now. It's already back down to 60%, dude. We'll take that. Okay, coming back through. Let's use main, for sure. Fun fact, actually, on DBD Mobile, there's set spawns for each map, and this specific map has a 5 gen that spawns on it over there, which is kind of crazy, because it spawns the 5 gen every single game. So whenever you get this map as a killer, you've basically already won. For anyone who doesn't know what a 5 gen is, it basically means there's 5 generators within a close proximity. We could probably stop this tunnel. Oh, I think we already stopped it. Nice. Okay, well, I messed up the fast vault, but that does not matter today. Oh, we're hitting on the corner there. Okay, nice. He's leaving me. Oh, wait, no, he's not. Okay, that's good. I'm kind of the one who needs to be chased right now, so. That's fine. Nice, good fast fault. We have the pallet here. It's a very strong pallet, actually. Nice. Hit the window again. We can run this pallet with this window and just combo it. Nice. Blind. And then we get back here for free. <laughs> no, I tried window decking him again. Oh my god, you're insane for that. Oh. Nice. Beautiful. Let's go this way. Nice. Let's go. We still have Shaq as well, I'm pretty sure. I don't think anyone threw that pallet down. Craft a flashbang. Oh wait. Not yet. Now it's not the time. I don't want to body block her. That was almost bad. 
Bruh. Oh my god. That is not what I wanted to happen at all. <laughs> you guys know that is not what I was trying to do. Oh my god, of course we won that. Oh my god. We need to get to the door quick. It's over here. It's over here. The door is this way, Michaela. Yeah, Deja Vu has been really, really good so far. I quite enjoyed it. Oh, wait. He died in a pallet. Nice. He knew, man. Ah, well played. I gotta give him that. That was well played. I tried. You guys should just take three here. GG's. That's a really good result against a blight. Oh, wow. He actually had the add-on for the entity to block pallets. He didn't have the perk. Wow. I didn't even know that was a thing. GG's. All right, let's go. We are in on the Dead Dog Saloon, which is DBD's best three-gen map in the entire game. This three-gen here in Gallows is almost impossible to pop against characters like the Knight, the Skull Merchant, and even characters like the Wraith have a very high chance of holding this basically forever. Obviously, all the S-tiers, like, like Blight, Spirit, and Nurse can hold this 3-gen as well. And so the idea was put this map on, pop these gens, break this 3-gen as fast as possible. And we actually do have a Blight. Okay, this is actually perfect. Yeah, we'll drop down to this. Um, we'll go for this pallet here first. Nice. Now we make it to this one because of the stun. He is breaking it. Uses Rush this here. I'm going to go edge map. He won't expect it at all. Oh, okay, let's see. What's this new 3-gen? That's his new 3-gen over there. Okay, with main building. That's going to be very hard to hold. You guys see what I mean, right? Oh. I'm not going to save. We'll just go over here to this pallet. Nice. Fake going for the save. Come back. He won't break it. Okay. He's going for the tunnel. Oh, okay. Tunneling instantly is the blight. Very interesting. Let's just die for her. Like... Why are we... Okay. And it's an instant mori as well. Damn. That's so sad. Okay. Medium. It's not very good, but that's fine. He's rushing. He's not rushing. He's breaking the wall. Okay. Let's just run him on Shaq then. Meg, what are you doing? What am I watching? Is Meg teaming with the killer to kill everybody? Is is that actually what's happening? She definitely is just teaming with the killer to kill people, I think. She, I think she just did it again. Like... Okay. Oh. I did not realize. It's a blight running bamboozle. That's something you don't see every day. She's just going to sandbag me if I do anything normal, so I have to go run over here now. We gotta get behind here. I need to do a path that Meg can't follow me on. Like this one here, she can easily just block my window. And the killer's not even hitting her, by the way. There we go. We literally make him hit her. We literally had to. This is so sad. It's a blight. He tunneled on five gens, some poor Rebecca, who is probably also getting sandbagged by a Meg. Why do people do this kind of stuff, man? I'm just trying to test out deja vu. I'm just trying to have a nice morning with some good DVD games. Make a nice video, you know? But... I guess that's not allowed. Oh well. That's fine. This is DVD, man. 
I'm not even mad. I'm just disappointed. All right, let's go. I put us on a indoor map so we can experience a map that usually would be very hard. One, to find gens and two, to even acknowledge that there's a three gen in the first place. Just wanted to showcase you guys that with Deja Vu, we know exactly where his three gen is now and we can actually power through it really early on. I think with like an indoor map as well, is like the killer can see his gens off spawn, but the survivors take almost the entire match to realize because you have to go to all the different gens to realize it's actually a three gen, right? With this perk, indoor maps become much more comfortable to play on and you also don't have to spend a lot of time searching for gens in the first place. Okay, nice. His three gen is gone. Now he has another one down there. Oh my god, okay. I reckon we pressure the middle gen here because then if we pop this one, we break both the three gens and then he doesn't have anything that's close enough to be a proper three gen. Oh, sorry, Meg. Okay. It's ruin as well. Interesting. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. He's actually committing this. Nice. Let's hit this one down. I messed it up. I, I knew it was going to happen this time as well. This guy with his massive legs, man. He's going to pull up here, right? No? Okay. I will be insta-saving, though. <laughs> Run. Oh my god, nice. Bought a bit of extra time. And now he has no pressure. Gens are going to start popping in a second. And we can go try and do that thing I wanted to show you guys. Hold up. I feel like it's almost like a thing at this point where I show you guys something cool in every video. So... Good restraint, good restraint. Nice. Oh wow, this is basically an infinite at this point. Let's just go upstairs. And abuse the other part of the infinite. And then down here. Vault this pallet. And then go here. That's what this, upstairs. And then we can hit this window again. Okay, that's not what I was trying to show you guys though. Hold up a second. If I carefully pre-drop this pallet. Oh, it's already pre-dropped. Okay. Get him on us. Follow me upstairs, good sir. And then watch this. You can hit the fast vault while dropping down. And then you do like a little loop around. And he's basically forced to break that pallet there. Wait, let's run this way. Commit. Nice. We'll go back. Do we have a corner pallet? We don't have a corner pallet. Okay. Then we're kind of screwed here. We should probably just try and go back to the infinite. Oh, I'm running into a piece of glass. I love it when that happens. Okay. Oh, we don't have anything there. We should have something in here. Yeah, nice. We're not going to throw it instantly, though. But yeah, if you guys ever get Larry's, you should try the trick in the uh, main room here. Oh, my God. I'm here to get a few, madam. <laughs> he looked at me for one second and said no. <laughs> we actually bought her so much space with that flashbang. That's insane. And look at his three gen now, by the way. One there and one there. And that's just the power of deja vu. Knowing that information, though, this is probably the worst gen to be doing. But, I mean, I don't think it really matters. Oh, by the way, this is like the only DVD video you're actually going to see me doing gens in. Because that's basically the idea of this video. <laughs> okay, I got my flashbang. I'll let Meg get the rest of that gen. We'll go try and help these people out over here. Oh, wait, they're dead? I think this Megan already got found as well. Nice. Now into run. You should have probably used that to get out, but it's fine. Oh my god, we got that over the pallet. That is insane. Okay. Nice. And now we might even make it to the other door. He's just giving up. Okay, Pyramid High, I'll give you one last chase, buddy. One last chase. Let's go. Let's do it, buddy. Me and you. One last chase. I'll let you catch up a little bit. <laughs> He's giving up. <laughs> He's letting me go as well. Wholesome DBD moments. All right. GG's. Good sir. Here, take this toolbox. <laughs> All right, let's go. We are in on the Pale Rose this time. His three gen is very bad. It involves a gen on the edge of the map and this one here. We'll probably just get on this one instantly then. Ah, yes. <laughs> very good. I'm going to get my flashbang. All righty, Thanos. Should we do a little chase, shall we? Okay, well, the window's blocked, so... If you'd like to follow me to the main building, good sir, that would be amazing. I actually don't want to use this pallet yet. 
And there's a reason why, and that's because I also have another really cool trick I could show you guys on this pallet. It's the same as the last trick, so if you know the last trick, you know this trick. We have a plan. I'm going to run behind him so he doesn't break the pallet. And then we can do the trick. Nice. Let's go. And now he has to break this. Wait, he's already tier 2? Okay, I'm not going to lie. I didn't realize he was already tier 2. That's my bad. I thought the game just begun. And so I didn't think that that whip he did on the pallet actually hit the pallet. Come on. Let's go, let's go, okay. Hello. Excuse me, Megan. Get out of here. Nice. Let's go long. Nice, he's doing a little moonwalk. I see you, I see you. Oh, he actually is going for me, okay. Let's just run through this. He's gonna pull up a whip, right? No. What's great about Deja Vu 2 is when there's only three gems left, every gen is a Deja Vu gem, so you get 6% on all of them. Also, I think I need to go take a hit with this person. Yeah. Probably. That is truly unfortunate. I think if he just ran, I would have been able to take the hit for him. <laughs> he knows. I'm still going to try and go for it, though. Mm -hmm. Unlucky. No, Meg, not the surge. Eruption. Pain res. Pop goes the weasel. Okay, dude. Very funny. Wait, he killed the zombie? Why? Oh my god. No! Let's go. What am I stuck on? Oh no. Do I have a pallet over here? I should have a pallet over here, so I should be fine, right? Oh, there's not a pallet there. Okay, now we have to go edge map. That's all I have. And I just gotta run them on a rock. The cattails, maybe? They got the door open and they can start resetting already. Problem is, though, the door is on the other side of the universe right now. And they're all just crouching at the door. I don't even think they're gonna try and save. They were all crouched at the door a minute ago and now, now they're, like, running in. I'm so confused. I don't even think they make it anymore now. All my teammates were crouching at the door, and then they all started coming in when it was already too late. All right, let's go. We are in again on the swamp. We have a Wesker, so we're doing the whole Resident Evil game, I guess. Resident Evil gaming. We don't have the pallet drop down this time, sadly. It spawned in the other spot. That's okay. Oh, teammate DC'd. Okay, very interesting. Oh, now it's a 2v1. All right, Felix, just me and you, buddy. Nice. Okay. Let's go towards the shack here. Just me and you, Felix. We win these. Nice. Hit this window. Beautiful. And let's see what he does. Trying to lose the chase here. Nice. We're no longer in chase. We might be able to run this window a little longer than usual. <laughs> I had to do that so I'd avoid getting in chase. We're gonna enter chase now. That's fine. Oh, wow. Double vault. Okay. What are you doing? Let's get out of here. Big spin on the corner. Nope. He gets us there, that's fine. Nice, we'll go around the back here and use the pallet so that we zone ourselves into the map, not away from it. He knows what we're trying to do. I'm gonna pre-run a little bit so that maybe he doubles back. Okay, let's hit that again. Hit that again, nice. And I can go around the back. I think made for this is gonna save us a little bit. He knows what we're trying to do though. He knows we're trying to anti-zone ourselves. Oh wait, maybe he doesn't. 
Nice, he doesn't, he doesn't. That's fine. Honestly, that's better than what it could have been, so. Could have been just us dying. Hit this. Nice, where is the killer? Oh, he went for the Felix? Oh no, don't worry Felix, I'll go get a gen, buddy. We win these, 1v2. What's up? Not gonna lie about it, this is not the place to go, but it's fine. Oh wow, that hook is sabbed. He doesn't even make me to a hook. Oh my god. That's so good. Okay, run away Felix. That was such a good play, man. He sabbed the hook. Sort of like in advance. Crazy. Okay. Let's use the upstairs. Where's the pallet? There? Okay, I see it. Nice. Let's use this one for now. Nice, Felix. Nice. Two more gems. Two more gems. We win these. We win these. What if he drops on my head? He was actually going to. Nice. We just got to use the pallets and run over to the pier and that's it. You know what? I'm going to drop down here. And go all the way back up for another loop around. Let's go. It worked. Nice. Nice. We needed that stun. Now we can run and hit this vault. Okay. We need to avoid going towards the Felix though. So this is the plan. We're going to run towards the hill here. Go up it. Drop down here so that he can't get us with his power. Then we make this pallet. And now we make pier. We should actually go upstairs. We should look for a drop down vault if we have one. Is that one there? That is one there. Okay, nice. We have one. We have one. We have a good infinite here. Let's use it immediately. Nice. Where's it going? Is it coming through? He's up top. I gotta use this pole. Nice. Oh my god, he vaulted the window. Keep doing the gen, Felix. We win these 1v2s. That's fine. Is he committing? No, I'm worried he's gonna leave. Nice. We don't need much. Don't come back to gen. Don't come back to gen. Nice. Yeah, yeah run away, run away. This is good. Gen done. Okay. Oh, this is rough though. How do I save him in a 1v2 while injured without dying? I can. I can actually wait. No, I just had to make him whiff one time. That was it. I just needed one whiff. No. That's all I needed. Okay, we have to lose him somehow. And then save the Felix. Wait, this is it. This is it. I actually get him here, I think. We do that, drop down, he breaks the pallet, we get the save. Oh my god. We're back. Alright, Felix, buddy. We got this, mate, we got this. I'll run him boat, and then I'll run him towards the pier. That's the only plan I have, to be honest with you. And that requires him following and us getting this fast fall. Do I have an edge map? No, I don't. Okay, I don't know what my plan is now. I just have to hit the window again. That's all I've got. He vaults, that's fine. I've got one more vault at the window and that's it. I run into a wall. Oh no. Wait, nice, we wanna mind him. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. No, he's leaving us, though. The fact that we're this close to winning a 1v2 is insane, though. Wait, there's a flashlight here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? We get a two-man out here. It's possible with a flashlight. I have a plan. I don't know if my plan's that good, though. Please tell me he doesn't know where I am. Oh, he knows, dude. He knows. That's not good at all. Okay. Line the demon. Run to the pier. Make some distance here. And we need a pallet. That's what we need. We really need a pallet. Oh my god, he almost got us. That would have been so bad. We just need one pallet. I don't think Jungle Gym pallets up. It's not. Okay. Let's go around this way. Seems like the safest path. 
Wait, we lost him? No, Felix let himself die for me. I was gonna come and try and save you, dude. Maybe we could have got that. Oh my god, okay, we need to look at the hatch. Could also go for a door, though. He's, like, far in the distance over there. No, he sees me. Oh, no. Wait. He doesn't see me. Oh, my God. We actually might make it. He doesn't know. Oh, my God. We actually escaped this game. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.